Hi, good evening. I spend a lot of time in the garage, uh, usually with a cup of tea, uh, not too far away. And, you know, as you're working, you sometimes forget about your tea. Uh, and it goes cold. And, heaven forbid, a cold cup of tea, that's no good for anybody. So, I was wondering how good these are. This is a mug warmer. Uh, coffee and tea cup mug warmer. Uh, USB type. Uh, plug into a little charger somewhere. Uh, allegedly keeps your tea warm to 85 degrees centigrade, which uh, I don't believe that, but if it keeps my tea hot in the garage for a little bit longer, then I'm all for it. Uh, a few instructions on the back, plug in, drink stays warm, don't use a paper cup or a foam cup, um, possibly melts, well that's not going to happen, I always have a ceramic mug in the garage. Um, so yeah, let's open let's open it up. Let's have a little look what we got. <clears throat> this is from Amazon, less than seven pounds. Three colour choices. The one I went for was orange. And to be honest, <clears throat> it does say slimline, and it is. It's not that thick. Probably twelve mil thick. Uh, artificial leather top. Um, it feels more like rubber. Um, still quite nice though. Still feels good. Um, so length, length of cable, you won't see that on camera. That's about a metre, metre and a half of cable. Standard USB plug there. I've got on off switch, which is nice. You haven't got to unplug it when you don't want it to run. Let me just uh, plug it in. We'll have a look in a minute. I've got one of these USB, um, not a power adapter, but it tells you what current is being drawn what voltage is is available to um, whatever device you've got plugged in here so let me just pop that in the main socket yet yeah, can hardly see uh, switch it on yeah i can confirm there's a green led coming on and it is just about getting warm um let's see if we can get this meter into shot Excuse the cables. Um, 5.038 volts, uh, 7.5 watts, 1.49 amps is being drawn. That's about what they promise you on the packet. So, um, yeah, 7.5, 8 watt heating pad. I think it says 8 watts uh, online. Now, a cup of tea has just arrived. I'm not going to use this to keep warm. Um, two reasons. I'm going to drink this one now, and the base of the cup is quite small, um, which I wouldn't normally have in the garage. In the garage, I'd have a cup that's going to fill most of this orange base, but that, that's a different story. Um, what the plan is tonight, I've got one of these cheapo thermometers with a thermocouple. I'm going to come up with um, two cups of hot water, uh, it, it'll be in cups like you just saw there, but it'll only be water because, heaven forbid, I'm not going to waste tea. Um, and I'm going to put the two cups here. One's going to be on the heated mat, uh, and the other's going to be on a, a similar place mat, just to give a bit of insulation from the desk here. Um, we'll measure the temperatures of both cups, which should be the same when I bring them up here. Um, and I'll come back every 10 minutes, and we'll measure uh, the cups and see if... This this device is in fact keeping the cup warm, which uh, is what is promised. So hopefully it will be. So I'm going to boil a kettle. Bear with me, and uh, we'll start the test. Freshly back from the kitchen, I have two cups here, just with plain water in it, uh, fresh from the kettle. Uh, the one on the right is on the heated mat. The one on the left is on a normal mat, a normal coaster. So what we'll do, um, I'm going to do the temperature check checks every five minutes, not 10. So, um, right, here we go. One on the right first. We'll have a little look what the temperature is. 73 degrees. One on the left should be about the same. And it is. So, we'll come back in five minutes and have a look, see what the temperature is. Um, by which time this tea will have gone down a little bit. And I have done a quick test. Um, anything below 40 degrees centigrade, tea-wise, I'm not interested in. It's too cold by then. Um, so once these two get below 40 degrees, the test is over. 
So I'll go to time lapse, we'll come back every five minutes and see what the temperatures are like. Okay, I'm calling that the end of the test now. Um, <clears throat> as you saw, this, this one on the left was dropping down obviously quicker than the one on the right. Um, at best, we had six degrees difference between the two. Um, looking at the few calculations I've written down here, I think at ambient temperature, i.e. if the garage is freezing, it's gonna be a different story, but at, at ambient temperature, my cup of tea will remain drinkable for a further 15 minutes which is good in anybody's books um, without the warmer yeah it would have gone dead quarter of an hour ago so th there are pros for having the the the, um, the heated mat um, certainly it's going to keep my tea alive for another quarter of an hour in the garage in the winter it's going to be less than that but there is a clear difference between the two um, one thing i would say you do need a good quality USB uh, power pack for it. I've tried a few of the cheaper ones and on the little voltage readout I've got on the display uh, that I showed you earlier, uh, it, it will pull the power supply down to about four and a half volts. So if you only got four and a half volts, you got less wattage, you got less heat. So I'm using an Apple um, power pack at the minute, it's meant for an iPad and that's quite happily over five volts. So I'm getting the full seven and a half, eight watts on the, the heated pad. Uh, if I go and grab hold of the cups, there is a, a definite temperature difference between the two, um, which you'd expect. But I, I've also used a bigger cup. Uh, the base fills the whole of the heated pad. Uh, if you've used uh, one of these mugs, it doesn't fill it so well so it's not going to keep it as hot so certainly um, from the point of view if you want to keep your tea hotter use a base that uh, fully covers a heated pad that's what I've done anyhow that's this device is almost too hot to touch now the base feels hotter than the top but then it would add a little bit of the heat pulled away by the cup but yeah I'm gonna try it in the garage um, if I get five minutes extra life out of me cup of tea I'm very happy with that but on the little tests I've done here, it looks like I can get a quarter of an hour, certainly in uh, decent weather, if you like. Uh, the winter is going to be less than that. But, yep, yeah, I'll try that. If there's any issues, I'll come back to you. I'll leave a link in the comments, uh, should you wish to go ahead and get one. Three colours uh, from Amazon. I like the orange, so that's why I went for it. Um, I don't think there's going to be a difference, of course, in the heat output, but uh, it's easy to find in the garage. It's for me, anyhow. So right, yeah, if, if you like the video, thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe, there's gonna be more videos coming your way. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.